Hello! In this video, I will show you how to create the parade of fistels. This hairstyle is created mainly using the fistel parades. So, this is not very difficult to do, even if it looks intricate. First, I take a small piece of hair from the side. Then, I share the piece in two and start to create the fistel braid. I take a small piece from each side at a time and bring it under to the another side. So, take a small piece from right, then move it under to the left side, then small piece from left under to the right side, small piece from right under to the left side. Make sure the piece is always the same size. I also add some extra hair. Then I take the small piece from left, moving that to the right, and add some hair also from the left side. Small piece from right, under, add a little bit hair. Then small piece from left, under, and add some hair small piece from right under from left right left add again hair as you can notice I don't add hair every single time when I bring the strands from side to side. That's why, because I don't want that braid will grow too much. I try to create five equal fistel braids. It doesn't really matter if they aren't exactly the equal, but that's my goal. So don't add too much hair but just a little bit so you can make the braid turn on the right way to the back of the hair. I also pancake the hair while after while so this hairstyle will get some extra volume. Once the braid reaches on the back side of the head, I stop adding hair and keep on braiding without addings until the braid is long enough to tie together with another fistel braid to the back. Then I create that another braid on left side. The pattern is exactly the same, you need two sections, then you start to move alternately small strands from each side under to the another side. After a few stitches on the beginning, I start to add some hair from both sides of the braid. Just enough that the braid will go a little bit but not too much and the most important that the braid will go on the back side so I can tie them together with the first fistel braid. Continue this braid until it's on the same length as the first one. Now I will use the puppy pin to put these braids together. I cross them like this. Then I take the puppy pin and press it 
through the both braids to the another side. Next, I will create the braids I will use on the big braid. So just the three strands from the end of the fistel braid and start the braid, regular braid. I add some hair from the bottom and that's because these strands that comes out from the freestyle braids are pretty short and I'm afraid that braids would be too short without some extra hair. So I add one section of hair to the each strand and then I continue the braid until the end of the hair. I also pancake the braid a little bit so it will hide better inside the pancake fistel braids. Next I will do the same with another fistel braid. So take just the end of the fistel braid, add some extra hair bottom if you need to, to get the length you need and then braid until the end of the hair. Next, I will sh share the hair in three pieces, as you can see, and I will create one fistel braid for the each section. So I take the middle piece and start the braid, French fistel braid. Just like before, but this time I bring the hair over to the another side. You can also create the dots fistel braid if you like, but I prefer to create French pistol braids. I don't actually know why, but it just feels better for me. But you can do which one you prefer. That's totally up to you. Anyway, the technique is very simple, small strand from side over or under to the other side like you did before I also pancake the edges of the braid to get the same effort as the first fistel braids I created on the beginning And here you can see all the fistel braids I've created. Next, I create the bigger braid. I take the small braid, pull the fistel braid through the stitch. Next, I take the right fistel braid and the left three strand braid, and I do the same in here. Next, I take the middle pistol braid from the left and pull that through of the right three strand braid. Next, from the right through the left braid, and then just continue it until you cannot cross them anymore. And here you can see the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please hit the thumbs up for this video 
and subscribe my channel. Have a great day.